Thanks for clicking on my video. Today I have some sketchbook tips for you. Well, welcome to the art project. Uh, if this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. First tip, draw a border. Um, if you are struggling with what to draw and you just don't know what you want to do, um, start by drawing a border around the page. Uh, the simple act of putting your pen to the paper uh, gets your uh, juices flowing and get you um, geared up for what to do. So here's a little demonstration. Usually what I do is I take um, first a pen or a pencil, uh, whichever you want to use, and I hold it in my hand in such a way that two of my fingers create sort of a uh, groove that I can ride on the side of the paper with. So it's almost like a train wheel on a train track. And I put my pen down where it goes where I want it to be at, and I use my fingers to just ride the very edge and very corner of the paper like this. Now, um, yes, I do get paper cuts every now and then, but they're not that bad. <laughs> um, you know, uh, man up, do what you got to do, but I don't usually get uh, paper cuts. It's usually not that big a deal. Uh, do the same thing on the outside of the page, and then I turn my book around and... Uh, uh, got to connect the corner sometimes. It's not as perfect as using a ruler, but if I'm out in public and I don't have a ruler on me, this works as good as anything else. Um, the line is not always perfectly straight, but it just gives a nice little border uh, within which to draw. All right, for the middle of the paper, uh, it's a little bit different. And you can make the border go all the way around the book the same way I've shown you so far, but if you're using the middle, just take your uh, middle finger and put it in the groove of the book and use it to hold the pencil still, the pen still, and draw and drag a straight line. And so that's just how I do the straight line. I'm sorry, that's how I do the border around my paper. Um, second, use every page, both sides. The more you fill your sketchbook, uh, the more impressive it really looks. Um, if you look at my sketchbook here, I've filled almost every single page. In this book, I think I've actually filled every single page. Uh, writing, drawing, glued things down, everything. Uh, another reason to use every single page is because beginning artists are not usually rich. And so you don't want to waste a lot of sketchbook by skipping pages. Then the third thing that will help you with this is use a pen that won't bleed through. If you use a pen that bleeds through, then you don't feel like you can use the next page sometimes. Um, a ballpoint pen works good. A pencil works good. Uh, neither one of those things bleed through. The problem with the pencil is it smears and so kind of gets on both pages um, when you close it, but that's okay too. Just go ahead and use a pencil. Uh, my favorite uh, pen really is the Sharpie pen. It doesn't bleed through like regular Sharpies. It's got a nice fine point on it and it's inexpensive. So <clears throat> a, a Sharpie pen is about the best you can do for the money. Uh, it also comes in different colors. Here's a green one. Um, another pen that I use a lot is an Artist Loft uh, Artist pen. An Artist pen and a Sharpie are almost the same exact thing but artist pens are uh, a little bit more reputable, I guess you'd say. They are archival safe and they won't bleed through. Uh, this one is a 005, which is a very fine, fine tip. It's smaller and finer than the uh, Sharpie is. And it's a Micron Pigma. This one is a Stadler and it's a little bit bigger. It's got a um, 0.05 rather than a 0.005. Uh, um, both of those are really good pens to use. And then another pen that's really fun to use is this uh, nib pen. It's the plastic part in my hand is a holder, and then the silver part, the metal part, is the pen. And I use it with this ink called Noodler's Eternal, The Heart of Darkness. Uh, good stuff, doesn't bleed through, just a lot of fun to use and uh, makes a more varied line than the other uh, artist pens. Uh, so use a pen that doesn't bleed through. The fourth thing that I like to um, uh, say is that don't be afraid to use wet media. 
use ink, use spray paint, use coffee, uh, watercolors, uh, just use any kind of wet paint or wet media that you can get a hold of. I've used acrylic paint, um, spray paint, you name it. And um, that kind of helps get the creativity flowing as well uh, when you're not uh, limited to um, just pen or pencil. And also it makes your sketchbook look even neater. Uh, you're flipping through it and there's color and there's texture and there's colors bleeding together and so on. Uh, just really makes a nice looking sketchbook. The fifth thing, fifth tip is protect the other pages. Uh, I don't always do this. Sometimes I just jump right in there and get crazy with it. But um, if you can protect the other pages, do it. So the way I do this is I get uh, two pieces of paper, usually scrap paper, and you can use eight and a half by 11 copy paper to do this. And I put one, uh, uh, I put the pages on top of the scrap paper and then tape them together in the middle, as you see me doing here. Um, so one piece of paper goes between the page you're working on and the previous pages and the other page you're working on and its previous pages. And then you just tape them together at the top and the bottom. And this will help keep you from getting any kind of spray paint or water or anything like that on the pages before it. You can get pretty messy with it. It'll protect your table as well. Just be sure and kind of drag the brush off of the paper and not back on. If you drag the brush onto the paper, you'll smush paint up under the um, two pages or up under the page and you don't really want to do that just drag the brush off of the page uh, you can also use spray paint or um, flick ink on it or glue stuff down um, but protect the other pages this way the sixth thing the sixth tip that I want to give you is glue smear cut paint just do everything you can see a few pages here I've glued stuff down uh, glued previous um, pictures that or reference pictures glued ideas down um, images that struck my fancy smeared stuff um, did collage work uh, all sorts of things to uh, create um, interest and be creative and um, receipts everything just glue anything down cut anything out don't be afraid to abuse your sketchbook. It's like the one thing that you can abuse and not be that big a deal when you're done. Um, looks good. Uh, here's a page where I glued a photograph down and the photograph, I only glued it on one half and so it ends up making a full new sheet basically in there. Here I've cut one out and it's kind of got a window in it. So let's review. Draw a border, use every page, use a bleed proof pen, use wet media, protect the other pages, glue, smear, cut, paint, etc. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and uh, see you next time.